back to Linda's Pantry and today we're going to be going outside for a little bit of a garden tour and an update on the raised beds. So I, I uploaded a video a couple videos ago on um, how we milled a big cedar log into 2 by 12 and 2 by 6s to build cedar, bed, cedar raised cedar beds for my garden and um, this was a birthday gift and uh, I have never experienced anything like that. It was so much fun to experience on how that was done and it just seemed fitting because now I'm up in the great northwest and I get to um, experience some things that you don't experience anywhere else in the country. So that being said, I want to take you outside and show you how far along I've come. I did stain them with a honey stain and um, water sealant. Not because cedar will last forever, but it'll turn gray on you. And I don't want, I want to preserve the color for as long as possible. It's, it's just the lumber is so beautiful. We've got a little wind outside, so hopefully it doesn't interrupt the audio too much. I hope that if you're not a subscriber, you'll subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. I, I have a little of an announcement to make. Um, I've had several people come on that have been a subscriber of mine for years and wondered why I wasn't putting any videos up and when they went, they were unsubscribed. So go check all your favorite channels and make sure that you're still subscribed to them because you may not be getting notification because you're unsubscribed. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. But anyway, I do appreciate all of you that follow me and um, anyone who's new, welcome to my channel. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that button, hit the bell that's right beside it so you get notified whenever I upload, which is very often. So let's go outside for a little bit of a garden tour and an update and um, yeah, you'll get to see the progress. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so excited to show you. All right, so here we go. And Shotzi is very excited to go. She said, oh, hi. All right, so here we are. Look at my lettuce. This has been, I, have, I pick off of this every day. I just picked a big salad last night. That is butter crunch lettuce and some green leaf lettuce down in the bottom for baby greens. I've got herbs in that pot, more lettuce some red sail lettuce and this is an organic one i picked up yesterday it's just a green leaf lettuce so it's wonderful got peas and strawberries and there was a big runner on that so i put it right there in a pot put some dirt in there and we'll have we'll have some more berry plants these are peppers uh they're called a sweet heat they're a sweet and spicy pepper they're not super hot but they um and they are said it's good for small container gardening, so we'll see. And if they look like they're outgrowing their space, I'll transplant them somewhere else. So down here, I have my um, barrels. These are wine barrels, and I put a uh, pimento pepper in the front, and then two, these are Oregon spring tomatoes. They don't need staking, and um, they're an early variety, so I'm excited about that um, to have those in. And then this is my tomato bed, if you will. Um, I put five tomato plants in there, uh, and I've already got an early girl that's got some flowers right here. Yep, little flowers opening. Ooh, 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 I've got one open there. I'm gonna get tomatoes early anyway um and i i pulled all the bottom leaves off and really planted them deep because they'll root and stay you know a little bit more hardy and steady when they get heavy um again two oregon spring and a pimento pepper plant and pimentos don't get that big oh and i, I did want to say i because carrots are a tomato companion i did plant a row of carrots around the front all the way down and up to the stakes on each side so i'll have a i'll have a row of carrots to thin out but look at my beautiful beautiful garden beds oh, i love this I, I love the color it matches my fence you know i've got the cedar fencing but that wasn't my concern as much as i wanted to preserve this wood so i put two coats of the it took almost a gallon of the sealant so you can see the difference in what the color was and what it is now so this was extra that we had so he 
put together another bed for me. So I'll have, during the summer, I will plant, and I'm gonna lay cardboard down to kill off the grass and also attract the worms, but during the summer, I'll plant something, some things in here, and then when I pull it up in the fall, I will plant my garlic in that bed. So that's how I, pl I place these where eventually I will have pavers down here and in between. Um, but uh, to, so I can get rid of all this grass and mowing, but my mower will and my wheelbarrow fit in between everything. And then this one, ah, oh, I've got some more stuff over here. Uh, I've got radishes in here and these are globe carrots, so they're like a big fat radish. And then there's tomatoes and my starts for my zucchini and squash are in the, these four inch containers. So I've got um, habanero pepper and what's this one? I can't remember. Oh, and an ancho chili pepper. Those will go in one of the, in another two tomatoes um, will go in one of these beds. I'm going to, I think I'm going to plant my zucchini and yellow squash are going to be in one of these and see how beautiful, look at this. I love, I love the knots and stuff in this. So I'll probably do it in that one down there or this one over here because the leaves will end up covering a lot of the bed. So maybe I'll do my zucchini and yellow squash over here. We still have to shore this one up a little bit. I've got to cut that and put some blocks in there, but um, eventually I wouldn't mind having this whole side here with some other raised units, maybe another galvanized tub or two would be perfect for me. So my little yard is starting to take shape and I love it. I absolutely love it. So we're going to be getting soil and um, I got my hose thing all hung up and we'll be getting soil and getting stuff planted because I'm kind of in a, a really temp tempered climate. I, it doesn't get, um, we're past the frost date, so um, I'm, I'm pretty excited. So let me turn the camera okay. back around. So that's my little garden update. Woo, it's bright. Let me see. I'll, bring it over here. Maybe I'll get under under the shade a little bit so it's easier to see. It's not so bright for me anyway. Um, that's my little garden update and I'm, I'm excited that I was able to bring you along for it. It's wonderful to have this stuff right here on my deck to be able to come out and just pick what I need and I'm gonna really try, you know, in the past I've had up to 56 tomato plants. And if you've followed me for any length of time, you know, I, I absolutely can everything and put it away. And I still plan to do that, but I'm, I'm cutting back. I think I'm at, I wanna say I'm at 11 tomato plants. Uh, I doubt I'll get more than 15, but you never know. I might find something else I want to plant that's going to be amazing. And I do plan on planting some stuff over at my daughter's. And um, so we'll have plenty of produce this summer and plenty of berries. See, I'm in berry country. So when it comes time, I'll be picking. Uh, strawberries should be getting close here. And I'm going to go to a U-Pick farm and pick strawberries. and. Uh, and then blueberries, same thing. And so I'll be putting up a lot of, um, not, maybe not preserves. I don't know how much of that I'll do, but because I don't really eat that sugary sweet stuff, but uh, they, it still, it makes good Christmas gifts and um, you never know. All right, guys. So I can't wait to see you for another delicious recipe. Don't forget, if you're interested in Tupperware, my link is down below as well as my Thrive link. I want new team members on both of those things. So if you're if you're at all looking for in-home based business that gives you freedom like it has me, then I highly recommend it. All right. Just all you have to do is contact me. Um, hit one of my links. My contact phone number is on my